Getting to the start line, you'll be back in the finish line here momentarily. Nice to see everybody here. Five day runners are on their way. Look at the size of that pack. Ron is going to red fury in the people who are parking lot. Please move it or it will be towed. St. Thomas and Judy Henry from Peterborough. We're probably the winner right now. They put Jordan Peters back in place in the forward to the middle of the low finishing in a very fast time in 1910. Mark Niagara Falls International Marathon and with a bunch of folks who've been laughing and smiling and why would that be? Absolutely because we traveled all the way from the Caribbean through Florida and to Canada to participate with my kids and I needed to school them a little bit on the <laughs> abilities of the old man. <laughs> well so were you first? Of the three? Oh easily, oh, easily, okay. easily. <laughs> and this is, this is my son Kareem. Hi. And, and you? my nephew uh, Nikoloski. Hi. <laughs> Where in the Caribbean? From St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And it's a little bit chillier up here, isn't it? Just a tad, just a tad. <laughs> but you're wearing, you're wearing a singlet? How do you feel? Um, I feel good because like when you're running out there, it really warms you up. And if I'd been running like him, I probably would have been burning up before I got here. <laughs> yeah. How about you? You're smiling too. Uh, yeah, it was a good race. It was fun. I almost beat him, so. <laughs> was that your plan? I was trying to, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's a great day for running. It's, it's our idea of good weather. So. Absolutely, absolutely. It's better than having snow on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so you must be training in pretty hot weather, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard. Like, it's easier running in the cold, I think. Yeah. yeah. He's preparing for the 2016 Olympics. Yes. Oh, right. I'm getting right. him ready. <laughs> great. Well, it's a, it's a good way to get ready. Congratulations. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you Thanks. very much. On the infield on that rider truck, a sports car on the way. Five minutes after you finish, Mark Roy and the people are up holding it, so you can pick off the, the website along with Michelle Fraser and the tournament mark of the 5K. Carol Wright, the one. Here we go, Carol. The Rose City. You're right behind Carol, Carrie Young from Guam. Lisa Nagy, the we're at the Niagara Falls International Marathon, actually at the International Friendship Run the day before, and we found three folks running the Friendship Run this morning, and one of them has wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, your shirt says it's the Reckon, the Reckon Road Runners. 
Recon Roadrunners. Okay, let's see. What's your name? Pat. And what race are you running tomorrow? The 5K. All right, and you came all the way from the UK to run this race. I did. I'm really looking forward to it. Have you been to Niagara Falls before? Not at all. I haven't been to Canada at all before. New to me. <laughs> so this is, this is a big trip. Yeah. We booked it four days ago. Just spontaneity decided to come to Canada. Wow. This race. <laughs> wow, so that a spontaneous decision? Yeah. And you, and you found a couple of, is it friends to come with you? I'm a daughter. daughter. Oh, okay. Are you a member of the Recon Roadrunners uh, too? I'm just social. I'm just with my mum. So okay. came to do this for her and she wanted to do it, so I came to. <laughs> and it's Niagara Falls, you know. <laughs> it's Niagara Falls. And, and how about you? Well, I was uh, one of the original founder members, chairman for my sins for 10 years, still vice chairman, um, a good running colleague uh, of Pat, as we all, the whole uh, club, uh, has really got a, a good social life. Um, as you may well have seen from our badges and our flag, uh, we get all over the world. And uh, this is one venue that we wanted to come to. We've never been, so it's the first time in Canada, and the Canadian Maple Leaf is going on the flag when we go home. So actually, this is you're the first group who's come to Canada as part of Recon Roadrunners. Absolutely. We've done New York and America, and we've done Brazil and many others, as the flag will depict. But we've never been to Canada, and we're proud to be here. I have a question about the flag and all those badges on it. Can you explain what happens? It's not just one group that does all this. Well, basically, anybody in the club that participates in a race outside of the UK, whether it's Europe, Australia, America, Canada, you name it, if we're going to go there to do a half marathon or marathon or whatever, an international race, then the group that's going takes the flag. Uh, luckily enough, we've never had two groups go in at the same time because we can't afford to cut the flag in half. <laughs> that wouldn't be any fun at all. So which one are you doing tomorrow? I'm also doing the 5K uh, with Pat's daughter and uh, we're going to assist Pat all the way through and she wants to see the marathon runners come in at the end. So this is her weekend. Well, this will be a great time to be at the finish line. You'll be able to see the half people come in too, I imagine. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the marathon myself. I can't. So I just wanted to participate and just see the people. And it's all the atmosphere, you know. So And seeing the main runners come in is great. But even the other runners, they take all the time and trouble and they put a lot of effort into it. Even if you last, you're still there. <laughs> well, you were cruising pretty well this morning along the, the, yeah. the path by the falls, so good luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Really enjoyed it. You're welcome.